It's a poor sort of memory that only works backwards. Hey there, how you guys doing today? Thanks for joining me for another episode of Bitcoin and Coffee. I'll be your host, Eugene Forrest. So what are we looking at today with these crazy cryptocurrency markets? Well, I mean, the price kind of shot up on Bitcoin last night. I think what I see, like 9.6, 9.7. And you know what happens then, right? I mean, that was kind of the highest Bitcoin price we had seen in a while. We really kind of knew that there was going to be some resistance at 10,000. Um, people decided to take some profits. And hey, there's nothing wrong with that. You gotta take profits when you take profits. You know, we all got bills to pay. We all got families at home. And uh, you know, some people are just trying to break even now because they had started buying at the wrong time last year and aren't necessarily into the whole ideal of hodling their cryptocurrency for long-term investment. Or they made some mistakes and went and took loans and they gotta pay, you know, uh, the the payments and interest and all of that. So what are we looking at here? Well, we're looking at a market cap that shrank back down a little bit, but hey, nowhere near anything to be upset over at $402 billion. I mean, we hung out at $250 billion for such a while already this year that it is really nice to see it still on the other side of $400 billion, even with this little bit of a sell-off. We got $40.5 billion moved in the last 24 hours. A majority of that is due to the sell-off, but hey, I mean, we're on the other side of it and we're still holding nine. 9,200 on Bitcoin, and it's only down 1%, so that's really not that big of a deal at all. Uh, we got about a 39% BTC dominance. It's a little low, but hey, this market is always growing. It seems like every day we're adding in new coins, new ERC-20 tokens. Um, kind of hard to hold the dominance when you're just constantly adding to the pile, right? Uh, so let me see. Like I said, we got Bitcoin hanging out at 9,200. That's down only 1%. No big deal there. Um, this will be going up there. You know, I continue to see the Bitcoin increasing as we move across the year of 2018. I believe that the sediment is going to continue to be bullish. Um, I don't see any reason right now unless a major FUD came out to start pushing the price down. Uh, let me see. We got Ethereum. Uh, they struggled to hold on to that $700 coming in at $638. That's about an 8% decrease. Uh, it looks like a lot of the sell-off might have been through the altcoins as I look down through here. It looks like we got more than 5% on a majority of these coins. Um... Let me see. We also got Ripple coming in at 82 cents. That's about a 10% decrease there. I had seen them up in the 90s yesterday, closer to that dollar range. Woo. I remember when Ripple was cheap, right? Uh, let me see. We got Bitcoin Cash finally starting to do some pulling back here, coming in at 1,300. That's about a 13% decrease. Um, you know, there's all these talks about the upgrade coming to... Bitcoin Cash and whether or not, you know, Bitcoin Cash is the real Bitcoin, you know, whichever side of the line you stand on, Bitcoin Cash doesn't seem to be going anywhere at the moment. Um, the problem seems to be mostly is with these pumps and dumps that seem to be happening with it. Bitcoin Cash price needs to start being a little bit more stabilized. If people are going to be using this as a form of payment and merchants are going to want to start taking it, uh, hopefully time will work these things out for them and they can be one of the great altcoins. All right, let me see. What do we got? We got Litecoin coming in at $149. That's really not that bad. That's down only 8%. I was hoping for $150. Surprised when I seen it hit $160. And coming back to $150, eh, it's all right, you know. All right, and with Steam and Steambag Dollar, always getting closer to parity, coming in at $3.00. 41 cents for the steam and that's up 2.9 percent and we got the steam back dollar hitting three dollars and 28 cents that's a pull back down 4.5 percent as always i'm telling you guys get on over to steam go check that stuff out collect that free cryptocurrency so hey you can dump it at the market and get whatever cryptocurrency you're into so what are we looking at here for news on bitcoin and coffee well the biggest thing going on right now is is that yesterday for a little while my ethereum wallet there was a dsn level attack Um, it's over now. I mean, they went ahead and fixed it, but if you are like, you know, using my Ethereum wallet to go ahead to check on your Ethereum in the blockchain, you'll have to go ahead and make sure that it's still there and that you didn't get fished or anything like that. Uh, it seems like a small number of people this happened to, a large number of people were able to catch the fact that the little lock symbol wasn't up there in the corner and that they were, you know, transferred to the wrong site. Uh, the hack didn't really last that all long, all that long. But as always, we're going to continue to see these things happen. Uh, you have to pay very close attention when you're, you know, moving your cryptocurrency around. You have to check the address of where it's going to it is exactly the one that you're cutting and pasting because that's another one of the ways they like to get in there. Um, you know, you, you are your own bank and no one's going to protect your cryptocurrency. And so this leads into part of the next one is that a lot of people are talking about, um, 
securities saying that you know ripple is it a security is ethereum a security you know what is america going to do what are we going to be seeing coming out here down the pipeline uh and what is that going to eventually end up meaning for the currency well it's a very slippery slope to start messing around with these cryptocurrencies and calling them securities because like a lot of people or other a lot of other people are saying that once you start calling one a security, then they're going to start battling with each other with lawsuits and in the Supreme Court potentially to get these things all declared one way or the other uh, because none of them want to be a security. I mean, that's the whole point in this cryptocurrency market is that it's supposed to be decentralized and that anybody and their mother can go ahead and jump in there and be a fool and waste their money on the wrong project or they can get in there and get rich quick by getting on the next pump and dump school scheme or they can make that generational wealth by investing in you know bitcoin or whatever the next bitcoin will be out there um you know it, you just have to you have to look at the big picture you cannot get caught up in the fud you cannot keep you know thinking that this stuff is going to change bitcoin has been here for 10 years bitcoin's gonna be here for another 10 years and the cryptocurrency market is just now starting to expand at like an accelerated rate as the world's starting to embrace it. So nobody knows what's coming down the road. You know, this market cannot be shut down. It will not be shut down. Even though America thinks they like police the world, maybe that's about to change. All right, so let me see. The next big thing is, is that Ethereum, the Ethereum Improvement po Protocol 999, uh, they got voted on. It looked like it got voted down. They came in at... I think 330 votes for no, 300 for yes, nine for a maybe, like they didn't really care. Um, could it lead to a fork? You never know. I mean, uh, we see we seen uh, the Ethereum blockchain split when we looked at the DAO hack. Um, there's enough leverage and there's enough numbers on both sides that you could potentially see this. Maybe if you were to get the coupling with the Ethereum people that want to move to proof of stake and the people that want to continue to stay with the proof of work, also coupled with the with grouping uh, to fix these wallets, you might be able to get enough people together to go ahead and fork Ethereum into two different directions. Never know what that's going to do for the price. But as always, I hope I'm not out there just spreading FUD. If you guys like what's going on here, though, on Bitcoin and Coffee, I need you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button down there. Because, hey, you know what? We picked up a dozen people yesterday. That's absolutely amazing. I love it when this community grows. It makes me feel really proud to be able to get out here. Um you know, share my thoughts, and they may not be the greatest thoughts or popular thoughts, but you know what I do like is that I got a free help desk service so that I can help people in need who don't have a bunch of Bitcoin to be able to go pay someone 0.1 Bitcoin or 0.01 Bitcoin to help them out. Absolutely free help desk service at eugeneforest at 20 at gmail.com. So, I mean, I also got tools, links, affiliation codes, other stuff like that down there so you can continue reading on cryptocurrency and Bitcoin and see the markets and figure stuff out or just start collecting on the faucets. If you don't have a hardware wallet, don't really care where you get it, but there's links down there below to help you get one. If you got more than $500, you got to get yourself one. I mean, as you can see, hacks are coming out every single day. Uh, the last thing I got, you guys, come on over to Steam it, upvote my post, comment down there below, and I'll upvote that. I mean, that's how we do it, right? As always, though, you guys got to keep your Bitcoin safe.